Hello everyone, this is Nuresh Mirani from NureshTech.co.in. I am an amateur investor trying to understand businesses valuations and at times do read a few annual reports. And over the years I have been lucky to meet a lot of uh, value investors and very smart investors. And more number of them actually read a lot of annual reports. I know some people who almost read 500, 600 annual reports a year. They are and that too some of them actually go back almost 5-10 years of the annual reports. So my final conclusion was that it is necessary to read annual reports if you are an investor who makes a detailed analysis. So generally people tend to look at the physical annual reports which may come to your desk after a few days after it being couriered or it would come into your email. Now you cannot get access to all the annual reports if you are not a shareholder so a simple hack which a lot of analysts do is have one shares one share of almost 400 500 companies which they track so that they get the physical annual report or the email. Now one of the bigger task was to read an annual report and how do you store it because the best way you can do reading is read then you have to retrieve it and remember when there is a need. So the big problem is storing of annual reports I know some people had a uh, whole stack wherein it was sorted alphabetically. I think a better way would be to use Evernote and luckily this was shown to be my shown to me by my friend Neeraj Marate who is an excellent investor as well as an analyst and a good friend. So let us see how he uses Evernote. So I will try to explain it in a simple format. So now that it is an annual report season uh, it is tough to find out which annual report got released. So there is a site called reportjunction.com. Now it is a paid site, so paid site. So you need to have a subscription to access the huge data of annual reports they have for a whole lot of companies all the way to 1997. But one simple thing is on their website on the left side they have this column called latest annual reports, wherein every day they mention about the top few annual reports which have come up. And if you click on that latest annual reports, what you see is a bunch of annual reports which have come up on a particular date. So in this basis you can actually know which annual report has come out. So every morning this is what I do to find out if an annual report has come out for any of my stock holdings. Now if you have to access, access the annual report from the website you will need to have a subscription. So simplest hack is, so for example let us take template company of India. So we'll go to bsindia.com. Go to template, go to the financial section, click on annual reports, click on download for the 2016 annual report. Now that it is downloaded, there is a small option here which says save PDF to Evernote. So I can directly sync it with Evernote. So I have a notebook with the name of annual reports FY16. You can have many such notebooks and stacks in Evernote. So I click on save. So it will take a few minutes to sync it up. Once this is done, so it has synced the annual report. I just need to close this. I will close the browser. Now I go to Evernote. I'll hit on sync so that it there you go. So I have the annual report of template company of India saved on my Evernote now. So now I click on this, I open the annual report. So if you see it is almost 123 pages and that's the reason a lot of us are lazy to go through the annual reports. Now you can open it in a Evernote PDF reader. Then comes the excellent tool which is called as annotate PDF. So there is no recommendation on template company of India from my side. It is just the random one which came up on report junction today, the first name. So let us click on annotate. Now I click on annotate. Now what I can do is I can scroll through. It has a lot of tools wherein I can use the arrow mark, the text, add shapes, add stamps to your image draw on your image, select the color, select the size. 
so for example in this case I need to do note down so I'll directly I'll just I'll go to the chairman statement now suppose I want to underline something so for example I just see a random word here called say stress which all of us are in so I just underline this in India will say a microeconomic every annual report has a lot of macroeconomics I don't know why so moment I underline this so I have made an underlining here now for example I need to underline this maybe if I have a view why only 20 percent so I can put a text here right so I have made a marking here now there are performance highlights here so suppose I see something unusual and I need to make an arrow here as to how the pat has increased or etc so I can just make an arrow say make a comment find out why and subsequently I can keep doing a lot of numbers etc all through the annual report so if I keep going down there are various pages which I can look into so I keep going down wherever I want to check out so there is a result here so suppose I want to make a comment here no sales growth RM prices or whatever you want to so I've made a here say for example out here the economic environment which everyone writes about suppose I need to take this whole paragraph so I've made a marking here for the whole paragraph so all through the annual report now this is an very important zone where we look at the performance I underline this or take out the whole section now say for example like I was I quickly saw as to why the sales are down so the net sales reflects a marginal decline on to sharp decline in international prices so if I have found the answer for it I can say maybe make another comment here so these are just random quick comments this is not the way to read an annual report I am not the best guy to teach you that so now that I have made all this annual report I can go through the whole 123 pages make a note now what happens is I click on file save and exit now this is closed this is the best part about reading an annual report on Evernote now what happens in this case is I might have gone through the whole 120 pages but there are few pages which I believe are important and where there is something written which is something which I would want to look back when I have been when I am looking at a previous year annual report or maybe some time two quarters later I am looking at the results so in this case what happens is it marks down how many annotations and five pages so it will pull out that particular area of the annual report so you have a nice summary of what you've done now you can see now you can save the attachment so what I do is I go to file save attachments go to D go to my annual reports folder and say save it so moment I do this it gets saved into my computer so I go to local disk D annual reports this is because the number it has been given by BSC to the annual report so when I double click and open so if you notice what happens is I get a PDF now this PDF can be shared with everyone those who do not even have Evernote installed on their system so once you've made the PDF it can be shared so I hope you've got this simple aspect of using Evernote to annotate and read annual reports so if this has helped you as a favor what I would suggest is if you read an annual report make such notations you can mail me on nureshtech at analyzeindia.com it will help me learn more about analyzing an annual report thanks a lot